Hello, Tubies, and how are you all doing? I hope you're doing fantastically fabulous. So, we are doing today a banishing kind of protection based ritual here, okay? And we have our petition. And I don't generally use petitions for protection based magics, but I thought in this particular case it might be of use to do that. So that's what I decided to do. So the reason this is more spiritual is because we're not using really a lot of ingredients, okay? So we're just kind of doing a protection on what's mine, right? It's not that hard. We're just kind of protecting what's mine. And we're calling upon the Morrigan here, as well as some of the spirits and some of the more kind of protective elements of witchcraft that you would call upon. In this particular case, all I really want is what I've attained to be protected. And I have this fear of failing, not just what you saw in the grimoire, but just in general, in life. I'm constantly the type of person who's like making these mistakes with their money or their love life, or you know, buying shit you don't need or going out with guys that are just not good for you, right? And it's like, we're just trying to get away from that. And the one good thing that I have in my life right now, the absolute, the only, to be completely honest, good thing that I have that I can count on every single day and, and know is going to be there is my job. Okay. I value my job and I, I don't know. I'm just afraid of losing it because if I were to lose my job, I don't have any money. Okay. I don't have... I've got some savings, but right, like we, we got to get past getting this car fixed and getting the windshield fixed. If you don't know about the windshield, the windshield now has a crack that is spreading on it because a rock hit my windshield and I didn't patch it before it snowed. So water got in and started the crack spreading process. Not fun. What started out as a tiny crack is now halfway across my windshield. So there's that. I'm afraid that if I were to lose my job today, I wouldn't have any way of surviving. Obviously, depending on the country you live in and at the time of this recording with the pandemic going on, there's all kinds of funds available for people who lose their job. But I need more than that. <laughs> in Canada, they're giving you two grand a month and I make double that. So that just would not work. And it's not a lifestyle thing. It's more of a, I've got bills and debts and things that I need to pay off and deal with. So that's what the spell is kind of about, is just securing and protecting and calling upon the spirits and asking them to be here and to be with me and all of that fun stuff. And now we're just going to call upon a couple of demons like Boone to also protect the financial aspects of everything, right? Because we don't want, we work so freaking hard to get here that we don't want to lose it all. Okay, so one of the things that's really important for, for me and for the types of magics that I do is that I have to record everything. I have to record every aspect of every ritual that I do, even if I do the same ritual again, but I don't do it in... Uh, we're calling upon Ashtroth in case you're curious, um, but we... I record every aspect of every ritual I do in case I do it again and it's changed because every time I do this, I never do the same ritual twice. Um, I always change little aspects about it and I have to record those because you never know who could find my grimoire, right? Like the world could explode tomorrow and archaeologists could find my grimoire and some child who's alone in their basement and dark and twisty could find somehow a copy of my grimoire on the new internet and they could become a witch right like right we need to we need to record everything i'm a big fan of recording everything and we're just trying to call upon ashroth so let's just let's do that for a minute and just take a break okay take a break When I was doing the Grimoire for this year, like the second season of the Grimoire, I wanted to do something different. I wanted to have it more 
um, I wanted to have it more concise and clear and to the point and kind of still be dark and twisty and, you know, cinematic in a way, but also just kind of hurry up and, and get to the point, right? So this intention thing is taking a while. So let's just, you know, let's speed this whole process up. Okay, now that we're done with that, let's begin our magicals. Our magicals, okay, right? Our magicals. We're going to dress, these candles never look black to me, even though it's black right now, it looks purple to me. It's probably because of the filter I'm using on top of the video, right? Like, I like aesthetic videos. I've said this before. I don't know what it is. I like aesthetic videos. Um, I, I'm not a witch, like, who can afford the aesthetic altar. Like, if you look at my altar right now, I look like a peasant. I look like a poor person living in the middle of the woods in a tiny shack that's about to fall apart with herbs hanging everywhere, right? Like, I'm backwoods. <laughs> I, I don't have the money to go out and buy all of these fancy tools and devices and all of that fun stuff. And most of the witchy shops, including New Age Imports at the time of this recording, is closed because of the pandemic. So, or they're only shipping locally. And I'm just like, that's not very nice, okay? But I understand why. So I always put too much oil on these things, and because it's burning on a plate, I don't want the plate to crack, okay? Because you know what fire does to plates and bowls and so on and so forth when it gets too hot, right? So we're gonna dress this candle with some of our demon summoning incense, and we're going to... So we've dressed the candle with some demon summoning incense, and we're just kind of trying to push all the oil and all of the other stuff just around the candle because I like my stuff to look clean and neat and I don't know, that's just who I am. So now we're just going to be putting some more stuff on the candle, more of our summoning incense and so on and so forth and really trying to get the candle because I was stupid enough and didn't dress the candle before putting it onto the plate. So, you know, there's that whole concept and conversation that we could be having. Right, so going back to my grimoire thing, I want to do something that was different, shorter, but different, and still was able to show witchcraft and darkness and scariness. And my grimoire series always have to end on a happy note. Like, that was my that was my rule. It was like, season two has to end on some kind of happy note. Like, the sunshine has to come out and shine because it can't be dark and twisty all the time. Right? <laughs> So that's what I try to do with these Grimoire series, is I try to... Oh, there's glass underneath this altar, so that's why I'm placing the plate on top of that metal circular thingy-majiggy. Because then the heat, or the, the flame, if the plate does erupt, will go into the metal thing around and not onto the glass below and crack that as well. Right? So now we just want to bless this candle and all of that fun stuff. So I was just... Yeah, we're just blessing, just calm down. I know I'm jumping all over the place because I wanna talk about all kinds of things and we don't have a long time. And who wants to sit here and watch me put intentions into things for like 12 and a half hours? Nobody. So let's speed this up. Okay, now that we've lit the candle, we just need to put a few last intentions in. We're basically conjuring up Astra, okay? And we're protecting what's ours. We're protecting our stuff. We've worked so hard. We're afraid of a lot of things. I'm always afraid of things. Who isn't afraid of things? I'm like the most terrified person all the time. And it bugs me. I'm the type of person who holds on to everything. Every good thing, every bad thing, every little thing, every breakup, every friendship, every loss of friendship, everything. I hold on to all of it. You're like, oh my gosh, that's a lot of baggage. And if you're Ember Honey Raven saying that, then you are correct. That is a lot of baggage to hold on to. But the reason that I hold on to all of this baggage and share all of this baggage is because there is good somewhere in there and I'm too afraid of losing that if I let go of all of the negative stuff, okay? So that's just who, who we is. Now, 
You're like, why did you use a spoon to get that off of there? Because copal resin, it gets any little moisture around the edges where that metal thing was sitting on before you screw the lid on. Um, the copal turns into kind of like a glue, okay? Resin, when it gets even a little bit moist, turns into like a glue, at least copal does. So we're gonna do a cauldron fire here with some of our demon summoning um, oil. And remember in the last video how I said that this was a mixture of a cursing oil and a demon oil? Well, I'm using the demon aspects of it instead of the cursing part. See, that's what I like to do. I like to mix my oils together and then I like to draw upon different aspects of what their intentions is. And you're like, that's not how witchcraft is done. And I'm like, I don't care because that's how I'm doing it. <laughs> You're like, this This doesn't work. So we're just gonna conjure Ashtroth through the flames. I don't know how well that's gonna work. It worked, obviously. This Some of my spells do work. Just to let you know, in case you're watching this and you're like, do any of your magics work? Not all the time. Probably a good 25% of the time, my spells just don't work. And I, I haven't figured out what it is. Sometimes the spirits are like, no, we're not doing this. Sometimes the demons are like, no, we're not doing this. Sometimes I'm just like, I don't have the energy for this, but I'm gonna do it anyways because I need to do it. And then it doesn't work. <laughs> You're like, so you haven't figured it out. Why are we putting black salt in there? Again, this is a protection spell, okay? It's one of my darker protection spells. My darker protection spells allow me to use um, uh, demons in them. That's why I call them darker protection spells because I'm conjuring demons, I'm conjuring their spirits, I'm asking for their protective help. We're just banishing things. I don't remember what was on that petition, don't ask me, but I do know that this was a protection spell because I had written this down. All, all of my videos that I do is I cough into the microphone I, I that have spells in them. They're all recorded in my grimoire. They're recorded in much more depth. We're putting patchouli in because, you know, we want spirits, right? Spirits, come with us. Spirits, come with Ashtaroth, right? This is gonna be fun. Yeah, let's just light this on fire because this is fire safety set. Nobody ever. So, but a lot of my spells just don't work and people are like, well, you just gave us three reasons why they don't work. And I'm like, yeah, but I'm really great at giving out advice and I don't take my own advice. So we're just gonna sit here for a moment and put a few intentions in and ask for our petition to be granted and conjure up Ashtaroth, okay? So let's just relax for a moment.
Okay, so this essentially made us a nice pile of ash. You're like, oh god, what are you gonna do with that ash, Adam? Well, that ash is going to be used to be spread around my house. It's a protection-based thing. You know how, like, tequila used to do the sand and all of that fun stuff? Well, in this particular case, I like to use the ash, and I like to spread that around. It doesn't go in my house. Like, it'll go on the outside of my apartment door, or it'll go on my balcony, um, like in the planters so that the cats don't get at it because you don't know what's in this ash. There's all kinds of chemicals in the ash. Don't want the cats eating that. And then I put a little bit underneath my car for protection and I also put a little bit on my debit card. You're like, what the fuck? It's to protect my money, okay? Okay, I also put a little bit around my desk where I work. Just a little bit. You don't want a lot because this stuff will stick out like a sore thumb. And people will be like, why do you have dirt on your floor? Like, what are you doing? Clean your house. <laughs> so I put just a little bit around my workspace because I'm also protecting my job and I'm protecting my space, right? And this is very hot. Like, this is extremely hot and you're stupid enough to try and move it. God. The idiocy. Anyways, I'm going to allow you people to just watch the rest of this and I hope that you guys enjoyed and I hope that you learned something and we rambled a lot and that's what I do because I love to ramble. So until next time, my fabulous little scubbies.